In this American English pronunciation video, my Uncle John is going to teach you how to make a peach melba. In this scene, my uncle is going to be listing things. He's going to be giving steps. Listen to how he introduces each step. Well, to make peach melba, you make a raspberry currant sauce. That's what this is. And you start with the currant sauce at the bottom. And then you add some peaches. And then if you want ice cream, you add some ice cream. Is that vanilla? Yep, vanilla. And then a little more sauce. Another layer, huh? Oh. A few more peaches. Wow, many layers. <laughs> a little whipped cream. Ooh. Oh. Voila. <laughs> a lot of and, and, and then. Let's look at the pronunciation. Well, to make peach melba, you make a raspberry currant sauce. That's what this is. And you start with the... And you start. In, in. The word and reduced. In. Schwa N. And you start, and you start, and you start with the current sauce at the bottom. Bonus reduction, the word at. At the, at the, at the bottom. At the. Quick schwa stop T. Current sauce at the bottom. At the bottom. At the bottom. And then you add. And then you add. And then, and then, and, 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 again, the word and reduced. And then you add, and then you add, and then you add some peaches. And then, and then, and then, again, schwa n. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then if you want ice cream, you add some ice cream. Is that vanilla? Yep, vanilla. And then a little more sauce. And then, and then, and then a little more sauce. Another and reduction. And then a little more sauce. And then a little more sauce. And then a little more sauce. Notice the word little is pronounced with a flap T. Little. Ra -ra -ra -ra. Little. This is a tricky word, and I do have a video on how to pronounce this word. So check the description below, or click here. And then a little more sauce. Another layer, huh? Oh. A few more peaches. Oh. Wow, many layers. <laughs> a little whipped cream. Ooh. Oh. Voila. <laughs> Voila is a French word, but we do use it sometimes in American English. Voila, or voila. And when we use it in American English, the pronunciation is changed a little bit so it fits in more with American sounds. Voila. Voila. With that lower American placement. Um, and it means, there it is, here it is. And you might say that when you're finished with something and you're showing it to people. Voila. Or, as some Americans may pronounce it, voila. Voila. <laughs> and what's the name in French? Pêche melba. <laughs> voila. Wow, voila look at that. <laughs> I had a pêche melba in, at Rick's Cafe in Morocco that was to die for. That was to die for. Okay, to die for. This is an idiom we use when something is just exceptional, so good. We use it a lot with food, tastes. Oh, it was to die for. It was so delicious. Was to die for. Was to die for. Was to die for. Now she does not reduce the word to. To die for. She is clearly pronouncing each word, stressing it, bringing even more emotion in so that we understand just how good this peach melba was. And you can reduce that word to, to die for, to die for. 
We usually reduce the word for, but we don't here because it's going to be the final word in the thought. So we don't want to reduce it to for, like we so often do in conversation. Leave it for, to die for. Was to die for. It oh, really? Was, it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Is that what gave you the idea to make it? Is that what gave you? Is that what gave you? Notice I dropped the TH in that and connected it to the word before. Is that? Is that? Is that what gave is that what gave is that what gave you the idea to make it? No, we've been making it for a long time. Okay, well there you go, Teresa. <laughs> he made a monster. He made a monster. What do I mean by that? We can use the word monster to mean really big. Have you ever heard of a monster truck? When I say he made a monster, I mean he made a very big portion of Peach Melba. He made a monster. In Casablanca, in the movie, there is a Rick's Cafe, and people kept coming to Morocco. And, and, there's another word, and, reduced. The D is dropped. We almost never say the D in the word and. And, and, and people kept coming to Morocco. Coming to Morocco. To Morocco. The word to reduced. Coming to Morocco. Coming to Morocco. Coming to Morocco. Coming to Morocco. And asking for Rick's Cafe. There's another and reduction. And asking. And asking. And asking, and asking, and asking for Rick's Cafe. But Casablanca was filmed in the United States. So a rich American woman decided she was going to make a Rick's Cafe. She was going to make. She was going to make. Going to, reduced, to gonna. She was going to make. She was going to make, she was going to make, she was going to make a Rick's Cafe. And it's very nice restaurant. Oh, really? Oh, it's great. That's fun. <laughs> Maybe a few more peaches. No, no, actually, no, no more peaches. Actually, actually. This word is supposed to be pronounced with the CH sound, actually. And four syllables, actually. But you will notice that very often the CH sound is changed to the SH sound. This is because we often drop the T when it comes between two other consonants. So the CH sound changes to the SH sound. Actually, actually. So I'm reducing it to three syllables. This is a common and an easier pronunciation. I encourage you to try it. Ak, shul, li. So the middle syllable is the sh sound and then the dark l. Shul, shul, shul. Actually, actually. Actually, no, actually, no, actually, no, no more peaches. No more peaches. Just a little more sauce and then a little cream. Little, little, little. That word's popping up a lot in this conversation. A little more, a little less, a little bit. Just a little more sauce and then a little cream. I'm getting pretty bossy here, aren't I? Pretty with a flap T. I'm getting pretty bossy. What does that mean to be bossy? Notice I'm not saying please or thank you. I'm just telling him what to do. That's pretty bossy. That's pretty rude. Luckily, I noticed I was doing it. I'm getting pretty bossy here, aren't I? Well, <laughs> Everyone, fine. this man right here no, is my fine. cousin Kent, his daughter Louisa, and you've met Stoney before. Kent, do you have anything you want to say? Voila! <laughs> you just want to make faces. Want to make faces. Want to reduced to wanna. You just want to make faces. Also the word just. I dropped the T there. Why? because it came between two other consonants. Just want to, just wanna, just wanna. Dropping that T between two other consonants makes a smoother transition between sounds, and we love connected speech in American English. You just wanna, you just wanna, you just wanna make faces. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. You're welcome. That looks amazing. <laughs> delicious. Thanks so much to my family for being in this video. If you're interested in making a peach melba, I noticed my good friend Hyla over at Hyla Cooking has a recipe. Click here or see the description below.
Want a free mini course in accent reduction? Click here and sign up for my email list. If you're new to Rachel's English, check out this playlist of videos to help you speak better American English. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's absolutely free.